ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey yo, welcome to Weed and Barley. Get to the place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Praise God. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a place where we hear from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit speaks. Praise God. And we believe what the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, any prophetic messages that the Lord brings for praise God, hallelujah, they do come to pass. Just understand that. Hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful that the Lord is using this platform to touch many people. Praise God. To lift them up. To raise them. Hallelujah. But also just to to bring them, to draw them to him, praise God. Because what I know about the Lord is that he he's a jealous God. He wants all of our attention, praise God. So he wants to draw all of us to him, praise God. And I'm just so grateful for it. And if I can be a vessel to do the work of the Lord, the will of God, that's what I'm going to do, y'all. I choose to do that over anything else. And I pray that you're along this journey with me. You know, that takes mighty sacrifice, y'all. That takes, you know, putting down some things, giving things up, praise God, hallelujah. I've had to give up a lot of things, um, in my life praise god and even recently hallelujah still giving up things you know the lord is still telling me to clean up and clean out praise god hallelujah and what I, what does that mean even things that i had uh, uh moved from one place to another praise god the lord is telling me hey it's some stuff you still got to get rid of in the mighty name of jesus so we just got to be obedient in this time hallelujah it's almost like he's just scraping uh me clean y'all <laughs> just me clean with nothing praise god hallelujah but i'd rather go with nothing let me say that again. I'd rather go with nothing in the presence of the Lord than to have everything, praise God, hallelujah, and not have God, not have Jesus Christ. Do you understand, praise God, hallelujah? I will choose him every single day, hallelujah, of my life because I know how he has kept me through my trials, praise God. I know how he has kept me when I was under attack, praise God. I know how the Holy Spirit navigated things for me, praise God. So I can only speak for me, y'all. And that's why I come on and that's why I'm, I try my best to be consistent. Even when the videos aren't uploading uh, in a timely manner, it seems like, you know, one day they're uploading in 12 minutes, praise God. And then the next day they want to take two hours. But you know what? It doesn't stop me. I keep going and I keep pushing because I know that the word of the Lord is for someone, praise God. And as long as it get to that someone <laughs> praise god hallelujah as long as it get to that someone i'm good praise god so i have to be obedient and doing what god has called me to do praise god because sometimes when we think something is a delay it's right on time for that person who's receiving it let me say that again sometimes when we think something is a delay when we think we're not on time when we think oh my goodness we're just late praise god hallelujah that's right on time for somebody else see only god has the time and the seasons y'all of release for a person, praise God. Only God knows, hallelujah, what he is doing, when he is doing it, how he is doing it, and what's going to be brought about from what he's doing, praise God. He knows, hallelujah. All we have to do is be obedient to his call. Hallelujah, because he's going to work that thing, y'all. He's going to work it out, praise God. And I'm just so grateful to be in the presence of the Lord. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and touch on this word. So the Lord was letting us know, hey, if they don't cry out, praise God, hallelujah, if they keep silent, meaning the disciples, as he was coming through, being the triumphant leader that he is, the Messiah, if the, the disciples weren't crying out, if the uh, crowd weren't crying out, praise God, guess what? The stones would. The stones would, and that would be that is our message for day 14. And the Lord is just letting us know, praise God. He, when I asked him, I said, Lord, I said, What do you want your people to know today? What is it that you want me to say about this? And he said, Tell them that I paid for my praise. Now, that's something to sit on, y'all. Praise God. I said, Oh, he said, I paid for my praise, that praise belongs to him. Hallelujah. So you have a praise on the inside. You have a praise in your belly, praise God, that belongs to God. He paid for it. He paid for it on the cross, praise God. Hallelujah. That worship inside of you, that belongs to him. He paid for it. He paid the price. You think it's just your sins and iniquity, praise God. Hallelujah. He paid for you. He paid for the voice inside of you, praise God. He paid for that space, that dwelling space, that temple, praise God, for the Holy Spirit to dwell therein. You think it's you. You think it belongs to you, praise God. He said he already paid for it. Hallelujah. It belongs to him. So why is he a jealous God? It belongs to him, praise God. 
I'm just saying, we got to go deep with this, y'all. Hallelujah. We got to start thinking on the level of God's thinking, praise God, and get off the surface thinking of human beings, which is flesh. We got to get in the spirit, y'all. He said he already paid for the praise, so that praise belonged to him, praise God. So this is why, hallelujah, if the disciples weren't going to cry, guess what? Hallelujah. The stones would. He he paid for the, 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 the praise is bought. If I can get it out my mouth. The praise is bought, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, you think that is you coming up to the Lord, just praising and worshiping. You think, hallelujah, you just giving all your time. You spending so much of your time with God. That's God's time. He bought it. <laughs> he, that, he Listen, he made, he created you. He created you. He gave you dominion over the earth. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. And he gave you a glorious stance in the world. Praise God. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. He gave you access to riches of glory, glory in Christ Jesus. Yes, he did. Praise God. But guess what? The praise, he said he paid for. Hallelujah. And I'm just letting you, what, letting you know what the Lord said. Praise God. I believe him. I receive it. And I'm going to get in my rightful place, a lowly, humble place, understanding that he has everything figured out. He is my creator, my master. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I love him. And I know he loves me because he loved me first, praise God. And I'm just going to do what he say. All right? I pray that you're on the bandwagon, praise God, of doing what God says. Hallelujah. As we consecrate to the Lord. All right, y'all. So that was the message for today. And that what the Lord uh, actually shared, praise God. So you can have the bear with me today because as you can see, I don't have on my glasses. So y'all... Um, the words are already looking blurry, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. But we're going to get on through this. Praise God. I look for them. I don't know where I placed them in the mighty name of Jesus. But we're going to go on with this uh, communion. Praise God. Just bear with me, y'all. Hallelujah. If I skip something, just fill in the blank because you're reading along as a, as a good servant of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. So this is the Lord's Supper. I have my cracker and my juice in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'll begin to read. Um, I'll be squinty. You'll see my head down. Praise God. Because I'm trying hard y'all are trying hard your girl's trying hard praise god hallelujah all right for i received from the lord that which i also delivered to you that the lord jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body which is for you do this in remembrance of me In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body in the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in so doing, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick, and a number sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Hallelujah. Thank you for bringing us together for communion, oh, Father God. Thank you for we're a glorious time, oh, Lord. Thank you for being here with us. Your presence is known, is felt, oh, Father God. We know, hallelujah, that you have good plans for us, and we receive them and believe them, oh, Lord God. Thank you for the prophet messages, oh, Lord God. Thank you for growing us up and stretching us out. Thank you for giving us more capacity to hold you, oh, Father God, giving, you, uh, giving us more of you, oh, Lord. We are so grateful to receive more of your spirit in us, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. Help us to see. See the things that you want us to see. Help us to hear. Help us to hear what you want us to hear, oh Lord God. We want to blot out all the wicked noise, Lord God, the wicked uh, uh, agendas and the wicked aims, Lord God, the wicked assignments in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to blot that out from our path, oh Father God. We do not want to be distracted by the enemy at all in Jesus' mighty name. We just want to consecrate and focus on you, Jesus. 
We thank you for this day as we praise you and honor you. You are glorious. You are righteous. You are sovereign. Hallelujah. You are everything to us. Hallelujah. You are the greatest one. Praise God. You are the excellent one. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy are you. And we give you all praise. We give you the highest praise. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise and honor, O Lord, for you deserve it. You earned it. You paid for it. It's all yours anyway. Hallelujah. We give it to you freely, O Lord. We give it to you freely. We want to. We desire it, O Lord. We desire to be close to you. We desire to sit at your feet. We desire to be in your presence, oh Lord God. We desire to be in love with you, Jesus. We desire it, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hear our hearts. Hear our hearts cry for you, Jesus. Hear our hearts cry aloud for you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, in Jesus' mighty name, and touch us in those places, oh Lord God. That those places that we don't even know exist in us, oh Father God, that needs your touch in Jesus' mighty name. Touch us, oh Father God. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Thank you for all that you do in Jesus' mighty name. We're so gracious for your time, your presence, O oh Lord. We're so gracious that you're concerned about us, O oh Father God. And we're so gracious that you've kept us safe from the hands of the enemy, O oh Lord God. Thank you so much. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that this is a blessing to you doing this communion. Praise God. We are on day 15 for tomorrow. Day 15, y'all. We are wrapping this thing up. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, praise God, as we move right through uh, chapter 19 of Luke, we are seeing all ways, all kinds of ways that submission is there. But realize that this is a submission to Jesus Christ. Because when we learn how to submit to Jesus Christ, how to honor Jesus Christ, we can submit and honor to those uh, ordained relationships that God is giving us. Praise God. Hallelujah. We'll know how to uh, work alongside uh, those destiny helpers. Praise God. In a yielding fashion when we need to yield. Praise God. Do you understand? We'll be, we'll be so trained in this and understanding that what God is sending us is good. What he has for us and has how he has ordered our steps, it's all good, y'all. And I'm just so grateful to the Lord that he's doing this, praise God. We only have uh, four months, September, October, November, December. Four months left in this year, praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm pretty sure we'll be doing another fast, praise God. And we'll be doing some other things that the Lord has called us to do to go ahead and wrap out this year. But just know when God calls us to do these things, we're doing it in obedience, but we're doing it, praise God, to consecrate to him, to hear his voice, to do the will of God. We are obedient, y'all. Hallelujah. If you don't have that obedient spirit, pray for it in the mighty name of Jesus, because this comes from God. For you to be able to be obedient after coming out of the world, this, this type of obedience comes from God. It is a desire, praise God. I mean, he opens up your heart for him and you want to do these things, praise God. You want to look more like him and he starts to sculpt you so you're in his image. Because see, when Jesus returns, he's coming back for those who look like him. He's coming back for those who look like him. He's coming back for his family, y'all. You got to look like him, right? Praise God. Hallelujah. You got to be ready. You got to have that word in you. Praise God. You, you got to be born again. You have to uh, be doing the will of the Lord. Praise God. The will of the Father. You have to look like Jesus. I know you probably haven't heard that, but I'm just letting you know. You have to look like him. And I'm not just saying made in his image and resemblance and features because he was human and you're human. Nah, nah, nah. We're talking about spiritually. You got to look like him. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I pray that you begin your journey looking like him if you haven't already. And for those of you who are getting it, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah for you. And I pray for your strength in this time that you keep on keeping on in the mighty name of Jesus because God has good plans for you and I can't wait to see and hear the great things that he's doing in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed, y'all. I love you with the love of Christ and I will see you back here tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Praise God. Day 15. Let's get it. Bye, y'all. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God.